Well, good morning. As you can see, <laughs> I ain't catch no pigs here. Uh, actually, I did catch pigs in this spot. I swear I caught like 24. And uh, when I pulled the trap, went to another spot, some more hogs would come in. And the farmer come down here and he said, I'll put out a pile of corn. As you can see, boy, he put out a pile. <laughs> so, anyway, and this trap's been here for a minute. So, uh, and no hogs had come back, which is normal this time of the year. I don't know if they just roam because farmers are in here. As you can see, farmers are in here. They haven't planted this part, but he called me and he said that uh, uh, we're moving in in this spot if you could come get the trap. So, uh, I didn't make it yesterday because we had T-ball uh, from my uh, newest son. And uh, it looked like he stopped right there. So they're ready. So I got up at 5 o'clock this morning. I've come here before I'm coming to, to going to work. So anyway, uh, we're going to pull this and get ready for uh, another spot. But that's not a problem. So uh, trying to make sure. I don't know how much storage I got on my phone uh, while I'm filming. But the number one question is a lot that I get is, how much do you charge to catch pigs? Well, I do it by the job. I look at the job and see what it costs. And what I try to tell people also, because a lot of people want to buy a pig trap, and they want the trapping to pay for the trap. The way I started was I did it as a hobby. And you got to think of it as a hobby, especially if you're not a trapper. I may make it look fun. I may have a good time with it. But... Uh, you got to think of it like that. Don't go think I'm going to go spend the money it costs on a trap and a uh, camera system. And I got to get my money back because I don't, I don't like spending the money. But here's the thing. There's a lot of y'all and a lot of me that go out there and buy items that you don't make no money off of, right? You buy these fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 razors and uh, four wheelers and whatnot. And you just haul around and have a good time. Some of y'all buy these big old jacked up trucks. That them big girls can't even get in, you know, them big, them, them big old jacked up trucks. And y'all don't even make no money off of it. Y'all just ride around. Some of you even squat it to the ground. And y'all just riding around, hauling your tail around. And you spend fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000. So think of it like that. Some of y'all ride around in boats, don't even know how to fish. <laughs> y'all just out there looking for the girl in the bikini. But think of it as a hobby have fun with it and then when you get good enough guess what's gonna happen people gonna call you and want you to trap for them all the time right now as far as pricing let me get my wrist right right here real quick my wrist was hurting that way as far as pricing when i say you do it for fun uh homeowners will pay you landowners will pay you uh farmers will pay you uh just if you do it the way i did it which was I did it for free for a long time. You figure out what it costs you to go do it. Now, some landowners, they'll put out the corn for you. Some of them don't, so you got to drive. I mean, I just filled that Toyota up the other day, or this morning, yesterday, $75. <sighs> Appreciate that. You know who you are. But you got to figure in all what your cost is. And when you do it enough for free and it starts hitting your pocket because it's coming out of your pocket alone, then you start understanding what you need to charge. So if you're, if you're going to a spot, I don't like to set a trap until hogs have eaten for five days straight every night, okay? So if you had to drive to a spot five days in a row to feed, and then before you put your trap up, well, you've got five days going back and forth. Okay, well, you got to add that in. Figure out what you feel like you're worth, you know, at the end of the week. Uh, and then when you trap, because like I said, to me, that's why I do it by the job. I don't do it by the head because... The way I feel is if I catch 10 pigs or I catch 20, the only difference is I got to deal with a certain amount of pigs right then. So, uh, my arm's starting to hurt someone. So, you figure out, guys, uh, on that part. Uh, like I said, I don't always catch. If I don't catch, I don't charge. Now, this land on a farmer, he said he would steal because I come set up. I know a lot of people are like, well, you got to set up. But if, if you've done everything right, sometimes you just ain't going to catch that's okay i mean that just happens it doesn't make you do where you did anything wrong or you're worried but uh just go have fun with the trapping state of mississippi where i'm at has had a whole problem and then once you get known trust me your phone will ring and ring and ring so uh i may not have answered the question exactly what you should start off with with paying uh but like i said i mean like I told a lady the other day, I called her, 
and she told me where she lived and I looked it up and I, I did it and it was close to town. I said, look, I said, I'll tell you what, I'll do it for 400 bucks and that's supplying the corn and everything. Well, she didn't really have $400, but she had a whole problem. And I tried to explain to her what it was going to cost me to come there. Nah, nah, nah. And then she kind of understood, but she didn't have it. So I just told her, I said, look, I'll just handle it. I'll just handle it. It was an older lady. And, uh, and usually when I meet people, you know, uh, but, you know, when I start meeting people, I work things out. I work trades. So if you got land, I like to work a trade. But don't feel ashamed if you think you're worth something. Because you got to remember, as a pig trapper, oh, my arms hold hurt. As a pig trapper, if you're like me and you don't own no land, then you ain't got a pig problem. <laughs> I know you're just waiting for the light. No, seriously, if you don't own no land, you're like me, you live on a lot, and somebody else's pig problem is not your problem. So unless you hunt there uh, and stuff like that, you charge what you feel like is needed. But other than that, uh, I can't really answer what you should charge, but uh, I just know I make a lot of trades. I got YouTube, Facebook, and all that. Uh, so just I guess what the main point is, do it like a hobby and it'll all work out. And then you'll start having fun with it. And then when you stop having fun with it, that's when you start really charging and it makes it more fun. <laughs> so anyway, oh, uh, let me get this pig trap down. I gotta go. So I hope that somewhat answers it, but just just buy the big pig trap, the whole guy camera system, go have fun, treat it like y'all do when y'all buy them high dollar four wheelers and jacked up trucks and them boats that you, you know, and stuff like that. So, uh, and just have fun with it. So. Any which way, I gotta get the trap down. I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you. Arr!